welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're closing out the budget for the first week of august so without further ado let's begin we have a lot of expenses this week it's also going to be a lot of expenses next week because two of my friends are coming in from out of town so we're gonna do a lot of things uh that's why i'm predicting <laughs> big spending but i did buy a little like light um fixture that hopefully makes my videos look better so let me know what you think there are some like um light types uh what is the colored leads but i think this yellowish is the best uh for my taste it's also not very harsh on the eyes but okay let's stop talking technical terms and let's get to the money so groceries was 44.47 plus 19.33 went into spending, 36.42 in dine out, 37.50 in birthdays, 55.99 in beauty, 15.14 in clothing, 60 in health, 4 in subscriptions, and 11.20 in miscellaneous. So that was 284 euros and 5 cents. Perfect. Let's flip through the actual amounts and let's fill in that column. So we did actually have a income of 600 euros. So let me flip to the black binder and we'll see if we have any rollover. Groceries has a rollover of five, which means that we spent 45 in here. Spending has a rollover of one, which means that we spent 19. And dine out had a rollover of 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that means we spent um, 50 minus 13 is 37. Perfect. Okay, so five went into gas, 100 went into rent, nothing in utilities, and miscellaneous we put a 10 in plus the one uh, the ones that we have here as rollover. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So 10 plus 19 is 29. Let me flip through that and add it. It's in the back. So let's see, we're adding, um, what is 19? I said 203 plus 19 is 222, angel number. So I was supposed to have my nails done um, today, but my artist overslept. So I'm gonna have them done next week. They're still fine, but I get bored very easily with my design. So I kind of tend to do them every two or three weeks. So I thought maybe I'm gonna have new nails to show you today. Unfortunately not, but uh, next week, definitely. Okay, so one month ahead got a 50. So let's see, 45 plus 19 plus 37 plus five plus 100. 29.50 is 205. So 600 minus 205 is 315. Great. And 315 bringing here. We put 40 in beauty, 20 in Christmas, 10 in clothing, 40 in health, 5 in holidays, 25 in travel. So all of that stayed the same. That was 140. 350, 15 minus 140 was 175. And baby's got a five and car got a five, deposit got a 50, pets got a five, retirement a 10, technology and weddings a five. So that was 85, 90 left over and we brought that 90 to our savings challenges. So that was what we stuffed last week in savings challenges. So now let's flip to next week's budget. Let me bring out my cheat sheet. I have it on my iPad here. So for next week, we have an income of 620 euros to work with. I did receive my first paycheck from my first job. So yay, not first job, a uh, new job. So that's exciting. And uh, 50 is going into groceries, 20 into spending, 50 in dine out as usual. We're gonna put five in gas, 100 in rent, 20 in utilities, five in miscellaneous, and 60 in one month ahead. So I added more in one month ahead because I do want to finish stuffing this um, in August and I calculated how much I need to stuff to have it done by the end of the month. So in bills and cash envelopes, we are stuffing 
310 euros. So 620 minus 310 is 310, perfect. So exactly half of our paycheck went into here. So um, short-term sinking funds, we are stuffing 40 into beauty, uh, 20 into Christmas, 10 into clothing, 40 into health, five in holidays, 10 in subscriptions, and 30 into travel. So 40 plus 20 plus 10 plus 40 plus five plus 10 plus 30. That's 155. So 310 minus 155 is, oh, 155. That's kind of cr crazy that these all uh, were exactly the same. Wow, okay, I don't think that has ever happened. So long-term sinking funds, we are putting five into babies, five into car, 50 in deposit, um, five in pets, uh, 10 in retirement and five in technologies, technology and weddings each. So that's, let's see, 85. So we have 155 minus 85 is 70. And all of that 70 will go into our savings challenge. I usually do them at the end of my cash stuffing. I have a whole binder and I add everything in there. Okay, so that's the setup for next week's budget. I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing video of this paycheck, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. We have fun over here. I'll be back very soon with more videos, but in the meanwhile, I wish you a very wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye!